Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is an expansion for the game Expedition. Expedition is a one to six player game that takes about 20 minutes to play or more depending on the quest. And it is basically a game for ages, I'd say about 10 and up. In the game Expedition, you're simply going to be playing, utilizing a tablet and of course their app, along with the cards they give you. You're gonna be selecting an adventure, you're gonna be selecting skills and your persona, and you're gonna be making your own unique deck of cards cards based on the skills your character has. You're going to go throughout the different quests or tutorials throughout the app and you'll be fighting monsters. And it's interesting because it has a timing aspect, it has a little bit of a deck building aspect, and then you're going to gain loot as well as level up and skill up and all that good stuff. And it's also really interesting uh, is you're going to be able to level up and change your character around, but you can also make your own quests in the game if you so choose. You can go onto their website and kind of make your own tutorial thing and then utilize all the cards they've given you to play that or play other people's quests that they have utilized on the app. There's also a multiplayer function, but I haven't actually used that, so I don't know how it would function exactly. Nevertheless, though, we're going to be talking about the future expansion. We just got this in not too long ago, and we wanted to see the differences in uh, what you're going to be getting in the game, along with how it plays with the original game, along with the horror expansion. So we're not going to do a full tutorial as to how to play the entire game. If you want to go ahead and check that out, you can see our original video, which I'll post it in the description below, and you can watch how to play that game. I'm going to simply tell you how to add all this in, and then what I think about it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go down here and take a look at the future expansion and how it works together with the rest of the game, Expedition the role-playing card game. So here we have everything for Expedition, the role-playing card game, and of course the two expansions, the horror and the tech one, which is called the future. So I've already talked about the, the horror as well as the base game. Like I said, if you want to know more about that, go ahead and check out my other video. But for this one, let's show you what you're going to be getting for the future expansion. Now the first thing you'll probably notice are these guys over here. These are all new adventurers you can choose to use, whether it's the resourceful engineer, the questionable medic, the disgraced scientist, and the unstoppable machine and they'll have their own health and what starting abilities they're going to have these are your starting ability cards here you're also going to have new bad guys which are these synth dudes and they're all going to have different tiers as well as what you'll be fighting like a sentry turret or a custodian pod and of course their tier and if you're going to be fighting more than one of them you have the front side here which you can utilize for health for additional of the same monsters which is really nice actually these are all the skills over here and you're going to be getting a new set of cards called the tech skills tech skills here are going to uh, basically let you utilize them to do damage and gain other things like loot. You'll be taking one of these cards during combat and rolling a die and checking to see if you succeeded or failed that specific roll. Uh, you're also going to be getting these things called skills. Now they're very similar, I guess, in, in a certain way to Persona, which is from the horror expansion, because you get to choose, you'll take three of these in the beginning and you'll choose one of them, and they're going to level up. They're going to have a type, they're going to have a title, they're going to have a single use ability, which means you can go ahead and ditch it if you want, which will give you some ability based on its level, or you can can keep it to increase your likelihood of rolling high skill checks on the specific type of cards they are, like this is Charisma, and they have Athletics, you have um, Knowledge, so on and so forth. So you'll have this extra skill deck, which you'll have for use throughout the game. Um, you're also going to get, uh, last but not least, these loot cards here, and they're just basically going to be new additional loot cards. Um, however many you're going to get, I'm not exactly sure if this is the full one or not, but if it is, you're going to be one of the one of Tier 1, one of Tier 2, and a bunch of Tier 3 loots. These guys all function similar to skills, but they're one-time uses mainly, uh, or they're going to have a timed use over here, it'll tell you. And of course, what tier they are based on whether or not you're going to get them is what the app will tell you. The app has also been updated, and uh, you're going to be able to use this with the future expansion, of course. Uh, the rest of the stuff you probably already know if you've watched the video, it also comes with these cards here, which are basically references to the damage, their helper cards, discard cards, and uh, additional adventures, and uh, other, other skills, magic range, music influence, uh, melee, and... Um, additional loot cards, and of course a boatload more monsters. This is the horror expansion one. This is the Expedition role-playing card game uh, app, which is free to download, and based on the number of players you have is how many fingers you're gonna use. Everybody puts their finger on this thing. So if I want three players, I would hold down three, and then afterwards, it would show. It would give me a three-player game, as well as what you can choose. Now, with the app, of course, there is the three different learning aspects. You've got the uh, adventuring learning for the original base game, the horror, which includes the base game, and the future, which includes both the horror and the base game. These are great learning tools that you'll be needing to utilize throughout the game. And, of course, it has these extra quests. And, of course, you can get more quests by written by the community themselves. Or, if you so choose, you can actually 
go ahead and make your own quest, which is really, really cool. So you want to check them out. You can go ahead and do that. When playing the game, uh, you're going to be utilizing all of the cards here to a certain extent. Uh, to, uh, well, you'll be using like a certain amount of cards here. Uh, and as you go throughout the game, you'll be gaining more cards based on your skills and how long the adventure is. But this is pretty much everything you're getting in the expedition uh, expansion called the future. Let's come up and talk about the different cards and how they function. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get back into the review portion. So let's go ahead and talk about all the expansion stuff you're going to get, such as the skill deck here. It's going to have basically different uh, titles and whatnot, their levels, and have single uses. Increase the persona of two adventurers by this specific skill level. You have to discard this card in order to gain that, and you're going to gain skill levels based on when you level up and whatnot. It'll function very similar to persona cards is in, in, in a way. They are different. Um, and of course, the personas from the original uh, expansion, and this one actually based on uh, whether it goes up or down, you'll get a bonus ability or you're going to suffer a penalty which I'll show you on the app in a bit. The tech tree is going to have some interesting things. Basically, a lot of the tech minions are going to be either uh, prone to dealing with tech or prone to taking damage with tech. And tech is going to be generally having a lot to do with loot. For instance, this one says blood for treasure. If you roll a seven or up, it's a target of yourself. Discard a loot and heal two damage. If the loot was above tier one, draw loot tier, draw tier one, uh, draw a loot one tier lower than that one. So you can kind of downgrade a loot to heal yourself, which is kind of useful. Uh, any living energies surge, swapping enemy and adventure effects. Uh, this one here, apply the effect of one loot played this round to a second target. So this has a lot to do with loot cards. That's probably why they introduced extra loot cards in here. They still do have damaging abilities in here, such as uh, draw a tier two loot and take two damage if you, can, if you can successfully get an eight or higher. Or this one, reduce damage. You take this round by, total, by the total loot tier you played this round or draw a loot card. A lot of them are loot, a lot of them, but there are damage and there's a couple other things involved with it. The loot that you're going to be getting in this expansion is stuff like all adventurers regain health equal to the tier sum of enemies. An enemy is going to have a tier on it. And if there's four tier one enemies, that's four tiers. Uh, take one less damage. Uh, take one less damage, then move this tracker down one, discard at zero. So you can actually get, you can actually gain health sort of. If you take three, you can reduce one here, take two damage. And you can do that up to 10 times. That's actually really, really cool. Now, this is all tier three loot. So obviously it's all pretty cool. Uh, the beam tech, deal one target damage equal to your highest knowledge skill minimum of one and then move this tracker down one and discard it so you get extra bonus damages and whatnot and like i said before these synth enemies here you get like the sentry turret he's pretty much the scariest one of them all he's kind of like a boss uh, minus one damage from any uh, from any attack uh, cards and a surge surge happens which I'll, sh I'll show you on the app really quickly but surge will basically make the enemy do some kind of nasty effect it'll either take place due to the fact that it took too long or a random event will take place an adventurer who doesn't damage this round will lose a persona so that's pretty nasty but they have all sorts of guys uh, cyclonic diggers making a reaver it's mainly a tech expansion right it's called the future obviously and then of course the characters here you've got the resourceful engineer basically just going to give you a specific amount of health and then it's going to tell you what starting abilities you get to choose from. When you start the game off, just like in the base game, you're going to be drawing three abilities of the, uh, three cards of the specific ability. Choose one and put the other two away. You're going to do that for every single card up to the six, including getting an influence card. These things do specific things as well. Deal a damage, you, you gain a persona. They're very, very useful. Uh, you'll gain more cards as you level up throughout the game. And each adventure is different. So I could never, I couldn't show you an exact adventure unless I just took you through, through one of the tutorials or one of the uh, made. Uh, future tech uh, quests, uh, or even made my own. I guess it could be a video all in itself. But we're going to go down here. I'm going to show you the tutorial rather, quick, rather quickly without actually playing the game, just to show you what can occur that's different now than the previous expansion, the previous base game. So now we're back to the app, and I went ahead and had one player here. And in one player game, you're generally going to have two characters, though. And this is actually a three three player one anyway. But I'm just going to be going through this little app here to show you how it functions. I chose my three players with my fingers. I chose the learning of the future, which is basically a tutorial, and then it tells you the requirements and what you need in order to play the game. So let's go ahead and push play here, and like it works very easily, right? And it tells you what you need to do: you separate the cards um, in like piles, select your adventures, draw your abilities. I've already went ahead and picked a skill and a persona. This is my persona here, and this is my skill. 
um, or sorry, my adventurer. This is my uh, skill right here. And you started at level one. You got your base persona and your max health. This is my deck that I went ahead and made already. And like I said before, if you want to go ahead and figure out how to make a deck, you can go talk, look at my original video. Um, uh, you have to go through the sundries and you go to next. And uh, okay, it says your adventure continues with the expansion of the future uh, when setting up to try to choose one of the adventures from the future. So you want obviously to play with the future, uh, which you can tell based on the fact that it will say tech because tech is part of the future expansion. And then of course it tells you all about the skills. It'll talk to you all about the adventure and the storyline. So this is basically going to have an RPG element to it. So you're playing kind of against this application. All right, next and next. All these are story. I don't want to give too much away for it. Um, talks about new future tech abilities. Okay, and then we go ahead and do this. This says, okay, we've been given science with an emphasis on knowledge skill. So you can choose any of these abilities for the different skills you may have. Um, let's go ahead and pick athletics. So I'll pick that one since I have an athletics right here. Okay, and more explanation as to how it functions. And then, uh-oh, we have to deal with bad guys. So we would take out two bad guys from this uh, deck here. And uh, based on what it says to pick, Nano Swarm Tier 1 and this uh, Repulsor pro Probe here. Uh, so we go ahead and put them up. They have their max health. They've got their uh, Tier 1s. Uh, what they can do, basically, their, their permanent effect. And then if a Surge happens. And then we're going to go on and go to Next. This will tell you how to shuffle and draw for your deck. And how you play. So basically, you're going to start this timer. You're going to pick the top three cards here. You're going to go ahead and choose one as quickly as you possibly can. And you're going to tap it. Oh no, all three. All three need to do it. Okay, because three players have to have all three do it. Otherwise, it won't work and you might have to deal with a surge. And these would get discarded. So you have this guy here. And it tells you what you need to do. It says here you need to roll this die, get an eight or higher. I got a 14, so I succeed and I gain one persona. So I increase my persona by one. If I can get to that max skill, it's going to give me some kind of bonus. Um, and if I got a 20, that means I, a critical hit, and I would gain one extra persona. If I rolled a 1, the target loses one persona, so that would be a critical fail. Everybody would do that. You, would, you could also potentially do damage to these guys, which would just make them lose health. And if they ever died, you would simply show their tier sum. So right now the tier sum is 2, 1 and 2. But if one of them died for some reason... Boop. Now we have just tier one. Still the same number of adventurers, but if they died, you can actually lower them, and it tells you what to, what happens when characters die. Push next and start the timer again. Uh, be careful though, because if you wait too long, a surge may may happen, and that's that is not good. We'll go ahead and go down this entire timer here just to see what happens. Zero, minus one, one, two, and three. Oh, we got lucky. No surge anyway. Continues. Next, start timer again. We'll try one more time. Surges are interesting, and it tells you what happens with a surge. It'll say deal all adventurers one damage per swarm, add a swarm to the encounter. So that's not good. One, two, three. Oh, there's a surge. There it happens. An, an enemy surge occurs. So all enemies would have a surge. It does something nasty. And also, the um, oh, we can continue again. Roll and resolve these things. I'm trying to get another thing that's interesting as well. All adventurers will take a damage during this period in time. Everybody's going to be taking damage. But I want to show you what else is. Oh, there it is. A skill check just occurred. This is random. It happens randomly. And what happens is you're going to push begin skill check. And you're going to choose one of these three. And the longer you wait, the more difficult they're going to be. Uh, I have a, let's see, I have a light and I have a athletics. So I want dark athletics because at least I have one of them. I roll the die. I got a three. So I'm going to take this one. And uh, the last adventurer who rolled this check takes one damage. So it was a failure. Sometimes it can be successful and you'll gain bonuses. And then you continue throughout the game, obviously. Uh, and like I said before, you can once you go to zero sum, you, you score a victory. You get to reset, draw, loot, all that good stuff. And you move on throughout the story. They'll have different things you can choose from, like in any RPG. You can be like, oh, I want to choose this one for this skill check and whatnot. And then there's going to be a final boss battle, which is going to involve the sentry turret for this specific uh, this specific example tutorial. Like I said, this is a very ba this is a very basic one that doesn't have a huge story, but there are ones that have a lengthy amount of gameplay. I just want to show you the extra little things that are involved in this. Uh, you can also, like I said, discard these guys here, and they give you single uses. But that's pretty much it for the future expansion for the game Expedition. Let's go ahead and talk about the expansion. So like I said previously, this is basically just an explanation for the new future expansion. If you want to know the full ins and outs of the game, go ahead and check out my original video. It'll show you how leveling up works and how drawing loot works, defeating enemies and their specific abilities and all that good stuff. But I think you get a good idea of what the future holds or what this future expansion holds, right? And uh, it's basically more extra stuff. It has new loots. It has new a new character skill. It's got new character adventures that you can choose from. And then, of course, an emphasis on loot and how it affects the game, which is really unique 
unique and interesting. I like this one more than I like the horror expansion. It includes additional stuff like those skill checks that randomly happen during an encounter, which is really, really cool. I think that's really interesting how it kind of functions within the game while you're fighting. It's like, no, make a skill check because this specific random event happened. Oh, I have light athletics and it's saying I need light athletics. Bam, I can do that thing. And like I said before, I like this game. It's fun. I like RPGs that involve player interaction with cards and with grids. I can't play a basic D&D RPG. I mean, you may someday see me play out there in the live studio. An RPG is probably the only time I'd ever do it. But otherwise, it's just something I'm not, I'm not set home alone or not set home in a group and do. I, it's just not my thing. But this, this works for me because it has that story integrated into the app. You go throughout the entire adventure and it's over and done with. It's like that quick slice of life RPG that can play one to six players, which is no more or less than you would ever need to play a game that's basically an RPG. I don't think I've ever seen an RPG played with more than six players anyway. All of the cards are unique enough to where it's always going to be different and making your own adventure is probably the crux of the uh, of how wonderful this game is. I, I love that aspect. All the extra synth monsters. I mean, you've got a lot of monsters to pick from. And not only that, but you can increase the amount of monsters of that type. So if I pick this Mecha Reaver, I can simply add three more cards to that. Now I've got four Mecha Reavers. And you get everything you need to play. It's all in this really small, simple, condensed box. And it really, really works. I like this. Like I said, the skill check was my my favorite thing about it. At, at addition to the game, the tech and making loot in, in, in a, re a more relevant aspect to the game and whether you want to downgrade or upgrade them and how they function within it is cool and the skills are super cool too on their own such as this one here like strength that single use ability do you want to use that it's very powerful once you use it it's done for and it's going to give you maybe you have a level three in strength and that means okay increase the number of targets your melee uh, attacks this round or reduce the damage you take by this skills level so you can take three three more targets with you or you can uh, reduce your damage by three it's awesome but you lose that on skill checks when you use it is very important so it has that strategy involved in it then there's enough storytelling in the game to where it's vivid, vivid enough for me, but where I don't actually have to role play specifically. I think for players, like I said before, who enjoy a little bit of role play, but not like heavy in depth are going to enjoy this, who like the addition of the tech, which of course is the application where you're going to be able to uh, start timers and it changes and pushing down here with all three characters. That's really cool. It really has to like work together with this app. It's not a single person reading and whatnot. You all read it. You all play with it. So, it's fun. I really enjoyed this game. Uh, this is an a, a, an expansion I definitely recommend playing with it. The horror one's cool. I think that could be added as well. But this one specifically was even more uh, interesting and intriguing to me. I want to keep seeing all the things they're going to do with this app and how they, they change it up. Um, I would also like to see some cool stuff involved with the app. Like I want to see some pictures involved or maybe some graphics and whatnot. Give my imagination a little bit of a rest and you can add in like now you're fighting the dragon and the dragon pops out on the screen. I don't know. I like that tech integration. I've always enjoyed games that have tech integration and this one specifically is a lot of fun. Even more is going to be better for me specifically. But what do you think? Realistically I can see some hardcore um, D&D players or RPGers, they're going to be like, this is not enough for us. And then you get some other players that are more like on the basic side of games who will be like, maybe this is too much for us. But for those of you who are like me that want to write in the sweet spot, not too much imagination, not too much RPing, but also more storytelling than gameplay and uh, enough to involve everybody in the game is going to enjoy Expedition. Check it out in the description below if it's something that you would be interested in and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm really interested to see what people think about this game specifically and how it works with their play group if it's something they consider themselves playing or by by themselves with a one player game I, I probably wouldn't i'd probably play with more players i don't think i'd enjoy it with a one player as much i i, I played all the tutorials one player but i i want to play it with at least two or three players it makes it more entertaining and more engaging and the, the skill timers make a difference but what do you think honestly i'm really curious did you guys back the first game let me know down below and do check out the game oh that's all i got for this one i'll see ya Hi right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. If you like this video, go ahead and check out those other videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all does help. We do greatly appreciate it, especially me. I, I really appreciate it. As well as checking out the game Expedition. Ah, currently on Kickstarter, the expansion, the tech, which is the future. Do check it out. It's a lot of fun if you like RPGs. As well as go check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We have the blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. And our friends, everythingboardgames.com. And the Giveaway Geek, two great sites to give away even more than my own. All right, guys, that's all you have this time. And as always, I look forward to playing with you, I think, multiplayer on this, maybe? Hopefully. I'll check it out next time.